Born in the Eastern Cape, 28-year-old Loiso recently founded his own visual arts communication company, which publishes his comic book. His other profound talent is painting portraits, and these works are sold as far as the United States and the United Kingdom. Hello, Iso. Hi there. Welcome. Um, this is my wife, Nobe Sutu. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too. Louisa, it's been quite a year for you, hasn't it? I know, hey, it's been absolutely amazing. I mean, quite a humbling experience, especially with um, just how, you know, everything has come full circle and come, so, uh, come together so well. Well, I was commissioned to do um, nine pieces for a Hollywood um, movie, Momentum. And uh, the, the trailer just came out and it's been quite amazing, just the feedback from that. You're one of the few South African artists who have infiltrated the mainstream so seamlessly. Besides your obvious raw talent, what else would you credit your success to? Well, firstly, um, I must pay credit to um, the internet and the role that it's played on my career. I think um, before, um, an artist never had a platform where they could freely share their work with the broader audience. Also the support system, I think it's very important for an artist as crazy as I am, trust me, um, you definitely need a support system um, like my wife who is, you know, the uh, yin to my yang, so to speak, is able to come in and, and, and assist where necessary, critique the work, she's the only critic that I'll actually listen to ever. Now Basutu, what is it like living with such a creative man? Uh, it means that the house is upside down. It means we sleep in 4 a.m. in the morning at the oddest hours. Um, it means that um, everything is just insane, um, but I just try to keep the balance. I notice a lot of your artwork is a tribute to Madiba. Absolutely. Actually, this is part of a uh, collection of artworks that we'll be showcasing in Johannesburg in September. Obviously, this highlights the life of Futetu Mandela and definitely the spirit of the man. I think that's definitely what I wanted to capture uh, more than anything. Could you take us through your artistic process? Well, as laborious as it is, I mean, you spend hours painting. Um, for me personally, because I paint people, my, my goal is to capture emotion. So I'll definitely sit down and think about it, um, write down some, some notes and take to, the, take to the canvas eventually and um, make sure that um, the story that I tell in the canvas is as authentic and you know, as, 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 as truthful as possible. His superhero, Kwezi, is about finding one's identity and purpose and tells of a teenager with superpowers who learns that with his gift comes a responsibility to his culture and community. It's an idea shared by well-known ceramicist Anthony Shapiro, whose studio was where we'd create a 3D version of Kwezi. So what is cultural responsibility to this business? We manufacture ceramics, we run outreach, and we have classes here. So the range of ceramics that we manufacture is called Forest, where the guys who work here are trained on the job mainly. So a lot of our focus is on mentorship. Well, Louisa, I know you can paint and I know you can do graphic art, so I thought maybe we could bring one of your superheroes to life and make a 3D sculpture. I'm sure my hands won't let me down, so yeah. Loiso's skills have made him the lead artist on a comic that is read around Africa and internationally. I understand you're the head illustrator for the very popular comic Super Strikers. What was it like to see your first publication? Yeah, I mean, it was amazing. I mean, you can imagine um, a young guy coming from Butterworth, coming to the big city, um, Cape Town, and showing his stuff and actually having that published in a, you know, that was, that's a really big um, title, Super Strikers, and to have worked with those guys and then done so well there, it was really cool. But spin over from that, creating a comic book like Quezzy and having headlines that say, we now have our very own superhero. What has always amazed me um, ever since I started Quezzy was just the response from people. It's as if people have been waiting to have a South African superhero. And so definitely when I started and put it out there, you know, you can imagine just how I felt and how happy I felt to be the person to actually do that. It's such a fresh take, I think kids will enjoy it and hopefully adults too. What's great about comic books is that it appeals to all ages. Exactly, I mean I started reading comic books when I was seven years old and growing up in Butterworth one would expect not to have those types of um, exposure to comic books and you know anything art related but I had great parents who um, assisted me you know and, and, and helped to shape my now career. 
He recently did a portrait of Archbishop Desmond Tutu for cancer awareness and has become an icon of authentic African art. You were also celebrated in a documentary style ad campaign. What was it like to be the subject for a change? First of all, it was a fantastic opportunity for me. It meant that I actually had a platform outside my little studio to actually talk about my art, to talk about my career, um, to just give my story out there. And I'm sure a lot of artists at home watching that advert could actually see and then, uh, you know, how far an artist can actually take his career. Crazy looks amazing. I know, right? It's not too bad for a first try. I see yours is looking good as well. <laughs> Go team. Let's see if it survives the kill. This is not an industry for the faint of heart. After being rejected by local publishers who doubted the sales potential of a South African superhero comic, it took Loiso three years, but in the end, he self-published and has now released three books, as well as his first Quezi ceramic edition. Wow, wow, look at that. Wow, this is amazing. You know what, Jade, I'm always working in the studio on two-dimensional surface, right, for print. So obviously I'm amazed to see the character come alive in three dimensions. It's absolutely amazing and inspiring. Well, from superhero to super role model, I hope some of your creativity rubbed off on me, and I cannot wait to see where Quasi goes next. Hopefully to infinity and beyond. <laughs>